Assalamualaikum everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. So in this video, I will be talking about the topics that you guys should focus on slightly more than the others. Okay. Just a disclaimer, this by no means is an expected or like a guest topic video. Okay. If you've been following my channel, you know, I avoid doing stuff like that. But uh, if you've been solving enough past papers, you must have noticed that there are instances where if a topic is tested in paper one, then you're very likely to not be tested in that topic again in paper two. And here I'm talking about the small topics. I'm not talking about the big topics. Okay. So let's do that. And I've been wanting to make this video for a while. But uh, if you if you're from Pakistan, then you would know exactly why it took me so long. If you're not, then I guess you're just better off not knowing. So let's get into it. But before that, let's also talk about paper one. So overall, the vibe that I got, obviously, after hearing from you guys, after reading all the comments and the messages, I noticed that the paper was on the easier side. So what does that mean about the threshold? Yes, I think it's going to be higher than average. OK, but that's the max that I can say right now. I have seen the questions, the solution, you know, everything that you guys sent. So overall, I think there were just two challenging questions, one related to variation and the other related to LCM. And I think one thing that was uh, not very frequently tested was uh, the symmetry, the plane symmetry. Yeah, so, and I'm talking about variant two here. So that's, that's my take on it. I think these three questions were uh, slightly challenging. Other than that, I think it was nothing unusual. So, uh, that's that's my take on paper one, but now let's talk about paper two. So these are the topics that I'm talking about right now that weren't tested at all. And please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. So number one is graphs of function. Now graphs of function, as you know, is a main paper two topic. So you, you can expect a question on that for around 10 to 12 marks. And then you have angle properties of circles. So as per my understanding, there was no question on angle properties of circles. So be mentally prepared for a question on angle properties of circles on paper two, which means that you can expect it to be slightly more, since it's in paper two now, you can expect it to be slightly more complex than the normal paper one question. And then polygons, I think there was no question on polygons, so you can expect a question on polygons as well. Trigonometry, again, there was a question on bearings, so you can expect something to do with sine rule, cosine rule, or perhaps even bearing, you know, mixed up with trigonometry. Then solving word problems using algebra. Yes, this is something that you should definitely be prepared for. You know how word problems lead to a quadratic equation and then you solve a quadratic equation. Sometimes, you know, this is mixed up with uh, trigonometry. Sometimes this is mixed up with mensuration. Sometimes it's mixed up with similar triangles. And, you know, you have all sorts of things. Sometimes it's um, even, even mixed up. It, it, sometimes you have a question on graphs of function which sort of starts with you proving an equation and then you have to make a graph. So you can expect stuff like that. Vectors, yes. So inshallah, I plan on doing a stream on vectors as well. So you can expect vectors. I did a stream just before paper one. I did a stream on transformation and vectors, expecting that vectors would come in paper one. But you know, that's exactly why I don't do guest papers and expected topics and stuff like that, because you never know what's coming. Then you have limits of accuracy or upper bound, lower bound. So you can expect a question like that. Then you have standard form. Again, these are small topics. I'm sure you're already well prepared for it. I, I'm sure. Okay. I'm hoping that you're prepared for it. And I hope I'm right. And then you have similar and congruent triangles. Again, you can expect something like that. You know, you can expect a mixture of similar and congruent triangles with angle properties of circles. You never know. Again, this by no means is a guest paper or something like that. Okay. Do not base your preparation on the basis of this video. Okay. Please don't do that. But just keep solving past papers irrespective. Then statistics. Now, my understanding is statistics was partially tested, but statistics, since it's such a huge, it's such a, it's a topic that has so many uh, concepts, you know, you have histogram, cumulative frequency, bar chart, pie chart, and all sorts of stuff. So you can expect something maybe like a histogram or a cumulative frequency in paper two. Then mensuration. Again, you have 2D mensuration, 3D mensuration. So you can expect, I, my understanding is there was a question on volume uh, followed by that plane symmetry question. So you can expect uh, maybe a detailed, 2D or 3D mensuration question in paper two. And yeah, like I said, please add to this list or subtract if necessary. And please, I repeat this, don't take this as like a guest topic or something. Do not just prepare for the topics that I mentioned. You know, there are other topics that I haven't mentioned, like kinematics. I understand there was a question on kinematics, probability, number sequences, but do not neglect them entirely. So for example, if you're solving paper two and you come across a question which has already been tested in paper one, don't neglect it completely. Yes, maybe you don't have to like put it on top priority. Maybe you can do the other questions that you weren't tested on and then do those questions later. So that's it. Uh, that's it for this video. I've been wanting, like I said, I wanted to get this out there as soon as possible so you guys can start preparing and you know, just, just 
pay slightly more attention to the topics that I mentioned compared to the others. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys are safe and sound. Keep preparing and stay busy, stay sharp, stay focused. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next video and the next couple of live streams, inshallah. So take care. Allah Fez. Make sure to like this video and follow or subscribe for more.